All right, guys, there seems to be a little bit of confusion on this uh, moonshot tonight. I'm going to try to sum it up for you. I shot in raw, gave you the settings. Um, basically, I'm going to open right up off my card here. Uh, let's pick this file. Camera raw is going to open right up. Obviously, it's pretty far away, even with a 500 millimeter, whether it's 200, 300, 500. The main thing is to get that shutter speed sharp so that, and, and the two second timer is important or a trigger. Because if you press with your hand, you will have movement with a very long lens. So with that, uh, here's my raw file. I'm just going to bring it in a little bit so I can take a look at it. This is untouched right here. First thing I'm going to do is come on over to my sharpening. These are my settings that I used. 56, I don't go past a 1 on the radius. Detail, I went up to about 48. And the masking, that's important. If you hold the Alt key, press masking. If it's all the way at the end here, you're going to sharpen the entire moon. What you want to do is you want to back it off until you see just the edges to be sharp. Wherever there's white, that's what's going to sharpen. So be, obviously, you don't want to sharpen nothing. You don't want to sharpen everything or it's going to look pixelated. So just back it off until you get to the details that you want to be sharpened or where the sharpening is to be applied. So just go there, for example. We could also, we're going to also high pass and unsharpen in addition to this in uh, Photoshop. Uh, noise reduction. Uh, I always throw my color all the way up just in case there's any. I'm at 100 ISO. I'm not really worried about it. When you do sharpen, it adds a little bit of noise. So I'll bring just a little bit of luminance in. Not that much. I don't really want to take too much uh, out of that. But uh, I'll just throw a little bit of luminance noise reduction. That's about it. Only because I sometimes tend to over sharpen here. Now here's the important thing. When you open this in Camera Raw, go ahead and hit Shift and then Open. This is going to open a smart object. This is going to allow you to crop and resize um, infinite number of times because you can see our file is very small. And once we crop this and try to stretch it out, it's going gonna, it's gonna to lose quality. But if you use a smart object, open it as a smart object, you can basically clear out, hit the crop key, clear out all of your settings, crop it as small as you want, get nice and tight. And what's going to happen is you can resize this. It will retain all the data all the information, all the file data and pixels in order, in the right proportion, whatever technical crap goes on in Photoshop. But that's really one of the important things to do to maintain the, your, your detail. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run a couple filters through this. All right, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make a copy and rasterize this because smart objects don't have all the filter options available. Come over to filter, other, high pass, an eight, eight, nine, it's a nice little, see the less you go, it only goes to the edge. The higher the radius, the more inside and away from the edges, and that's going to create a halo, we do not want that. So I'm going to I want to get some sharpening within these little craters, so that's why I'm going to going to go with about an 8. You can't just leave this. You've got to pick an overlay or a blend mode. I like a hard light. You could try soft light, but it's a pretty crisp image. See a soft light before and after. And then try hard light on this particular image, a little more snap to it. Before we say OK, come over here little unsharpened mask and it's gonna be pretty high I'm gonna probably be in about 80 range and what's gonna do is gonna sort of clean up all those little tiny details actually it's about 90 do not go past 1.2 on your radius pretty much ever for unsharpened mask hit OK now when you zoom in uh, there's still you can still see some little dots it's, it's not perfect it's a little too much actually so Come over here and just back it off the back off the opacity by 75 percent. It cleans it up a little bit. Now I'm a little flat. That's where I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, select both layers. I'm gonna merge, make one layer now. Come over here to my levels adjustment layer. 
you can see we're weak on the uh, shadows and highlights. So drag these levels over, get some highlights, increase some of the shadows until you like it. And once you're happy, you're done. And that's pretty much it. That's how I got my moon. Uh, of course, saving it. Uh, I like to save my master files as TIFFs. So what I'll do is I'll come over here, save as, save it as a TIFF, name it. Um, but for the internet, after I've saved it as a master, I'm going to combine these two, flatten it. I'm going to change the image size to about 1500, 1200 on the long edge. Keep the resolution high. It's going to make it a little smaller, but the actual pixel size will look good on the screen. Save that as a JPEG, and uh, you're good to go. And that's what I posted on Facebook. All right, give it a try. Uh, good luck. Hope you enjoyed this video.